Hi there, welcome to the second episode of my 10 minute moan. Today, the topic of this 10 minute moan is another loony idea thought up by the SNP to try and help get us to net zero. And this one is an absolute belter. The story's been about for a couple of days. I've just been doing important things like talking about SNP accounts and stabbings in Britain that don't get covered in the mainstream. So it's took me a wee while to get to this video, but here we have it. Now, the story's been covered in a few different places, but I'm going to use the sun just because it was the first one that showed up when I googled it. And uh, their headline is, Coffee lovers to be hit with new 25p tax as Scottish Government confirm latte levy details. Scottish Government SNP ministers first agreed to the policy in 2019. Scots will have to pay an equal surcharge of at least 25 pence from next year on any drink served in a disposable cup it emerged today. The long-delayed Scottish Government plan should mean Scotland becomes the first part of the UK to bring in such a scheme. The so-called latte levy will be set at 25p minimum under the proposal, though retailers can charge more. And it will apply to any hot and cold drink sold in any single-use disposable beverage cup, even if the cup is made of biodegradable materials. SNP ministers want to use the process minus VAT and reasonable costs for retailers for environmental or similar purposes. But they admit the charge may be considered taxation and go beyond Holyrood's powers, setting up yet another potential constitutional class with Westminster. Well, we've not had one of them for a couple of months, so it's probably about time the Scottish Government put in some legislation that would be deemed illegal by Westminster, and then we can cry, look at those baddies down in Westminster. They've not done that to Labour yet, so that's probably another reason that they'll be doing this nonsense, in the hope that it gets knocked back by Westminster and gives the SNP another reason to cry out, these people are stopping Scotland being a nice country. Right, it's what they do. It's predictable. It's boring, it's ineffective, it's a complete waste of time. Just govern the country, please. However, Acting Net Zero Secretary Gillian Marshall, sorry, Gillian Martin said, the success of the single-use carrier bag charge shows how an environmental charge can be an effective tool to change people's behaviour and encourage responsible consumption. So see this success with the single-use carrier bag charge? Should we see some reports on it? That'd be quite nice. While many businesses already have offers in place to encourage the use of reusable drink cups, hundreds of millions of single-use cups are still being discarded, creating 540, sorry, 5,400 tonnes of waste every year. Many of these cups end up littering our roadsides, town centres, beaches and parks. Yeah, I, I, I've not really seen any of this roadside stuff because I'm too busy dodging potholes to notice what's at the side of the road. But I can't remember ever seeing any big issue and think, my God, look at the amount of Starbucks cups running about the streets of Glasgow. Anyway, however, the planned charging setup is different to the single-use carrier bag charge where shops are encouraged to donate to good causes rather than forced under law to hand over the proceeds to government. And the Scottish government consultation running until November said... If the charge was considered a tax, the Scottish Government does not currently have the power to create new national tax without the consent of both Scottish and UK parliaments. SNP ministers first backed the policy in 2019, but it's taken until now for ministers to set out their detailed plans. Charges will not apply where drink is free, or in schools, or for some vending machines. Ministers said a study showed the levy could change the behaviour of 49% of the population. And Callum Duncan, Head of Policy at the Marine Conservation Society, said, We need to see charges in this kind of items to reduce litter in the seas and prevent it from damaging our precious marine life. On that note, do you know what would be quite good to help litter, reduce litter? If that's one of the main drivers for this, and it's actually just litter, right? Could we put some bins in our high streets? Genuinely. I came out of a local shop and cannot find a bin. I've looked left, I've looked right, as far as I can see, and there are no public bins. So, when somebody comes out there and they maybe have a biscuit, open a packet of cigarettes and they'll get tinfoil, bit and the wee, you know, the wrapper and all that sort of stuff, the first thing you do is you look to where to put it. 
if there's nowhere to put it, then some people will litter. If there's a big bin in front of you, you'll probably put it in that. So, rather than charge people 25 pence every time they want a cup of coffee or a drink of juice, why don't you just put some bins out? I know why, because that would cost you money, and you don't have that, because you're pissing that up against the wind with stupid things like free prescriptions and free buses that people don't really need, right? But if, if we had, do have this genuine litter problem, then give us some bins. Where did we get to? Oh, aye. Ewan MacDonald Russell, Deputy Head of Scottish Retail Consortium, said retailers are already taking action to improve the recycling of cups and reduce their use of disposable cups, including offering financial incentives to use reusable containers and changing materials to be more biodegradable. Therefore, we question, at a time where the economy is flatlining and high streets are struggling, whether this is the time to introduce new costs to hard-pressed consumers. It's a great... Um, view on it. Another thing is, I know what Starbucks and probably, um, what's the other one? That's terrible, can't remember the other coffee shops, the, the, the one with the red burgundy logo. Costas, Starbucks, these sort of places. I see a lot of them, if not all of them, they offer their customers reusable cups. And you can buy it and get money off each time you use a drink. But you take the Starbucks one to Starbucks and they know the size of it, right? So they know how to charge you. So I need to get one for McDonald's now and Starbucks and Costa and Burger King and any place that I might occasionally buy a drink in a disposable cup because they charge you for a certain amount of liquid. So I can't turn up at McDonald's with a Starbucks one, surely, and vice versa. I can't just turn up with my own water bottle and say, can I have a Coca-Cola, please? So does that mean I need to buy a cup every time I go to a new place? Or if I get my cup is in the house. So I didn't need to go, well, I could possibly go to Burger King, McDonald's, Subway. I like going to Subway then again. Although that's since done away with their steak and cheese and changed it. There's no I'm no frequenting it as much as I used to. But you know, I might over the course of a year visit ten different outlets that give me the option of buying a drink. So I've got to have my car full of these just in case I need them. Is that where we're going with this? This is bonkers. Right? It's absolute nonsense. And there was some guy going on about um, damaging precious marine life. I, I don't want a boat. I don't take my coffee with me and then go, oh, I've got a bin here, here, throw it in the ocean. I don't go to the beach with, um, with cups. But if I did, and there was a bin there, I'd be quite good. I could go, oh, there's a bin just like, that I don't need to walk 10 miles to find. I'm, I can see it. That would be quite good. You know, put bins in busy places. But I don't know why. Is it a cost a thing? A cost a, a cost thing because councils need to empty them? Or is it a safety thing and a security thing because people might put dangerous stuff in them that blow up bins? I don't know. I don't know why, but we kind of stopped having bins in busy public areas, especially in Glasgow. I don't know about the rest of the UK, but I live here, so I can only comment about here. So that, that would be quite a good idea. But... <clears throat> One of two things is going to happen here. This will either get accepted and consumers will be just charged again with another stealth way of tax. Or Westminster will say, no, that's pretty stupid. You can't do that. And we'll just have another way of having some grievance, grievance politics for the SNP to moan about. But whatever way it goes, I'm sure they will make an arse of it because they tend to do that. But Victoria Manson, FSB Scotland's Deputy Head of Policy, I don't know what that means, probably some business group. Small business owners will want to know about practicalities such as whether the 25p per cup will cover their increased costs. Can they use up existing stock before the legislation kicks in? How much extra paperwork and admin might be involved? Consumers are very cost conscious just now, just now so many businesses will be reluctant to pass on any extra costs they might incur over and above the 25 p charge for fear of losing customers. So we've got all this stuff in the world, right? We've got stabbings that seem to be in every area of the country that we don't talk about. We've got concerns over, not immigrants, but the level of immigration. We've got concerns not over asylum seekers. We have concerns over illegal ones coming in and claiming asylum after they get here and only if they get caught. 
got all these concerns about houses, lack of, we've got a Scottish national housing crisis that the SNP implemented a few months ago. We've got 20% of our workforce don't work. Got all these things, all these problems. This is what the SNP are talking about today. Please get rid of them. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not already done so, please hit the subscribe and notification bell. But most importantly of all, unless you're one of these crackpots that buy into this sort of nonsense. See everyone else. Have a great day. Cheerio bye now.